Hi guys, it's Christy with Christy's Divine Design Show, and today we are doing a reading for Taurus. Oh yeah! <laughs> wow, we really got some messages for Taurus. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Alright. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Nice. Let's see. Conclusions are within reach, and that's a full moon eclipse. And we have your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. So Capricorn could be in your chart, or this person's, or they are a Capricorn. Sun, moon, or rising. Let's see. Don't let your past hold you back. So this is a major message, Taurus, that not to go back to the past, only to move forward. Let that go and who knows what your future holds here. Let's see if we can't find out a little so you can get down the right path. Let's see here for Taurus, please, Spirit. Ah, oh, the Empress. Wow, your Empress is waiting for you. Or you are the Empress here. You may even have Capricorn in your chart. This Empress is waiting for her ships to come in. She has already put down this burden that she was carrying, this Ten of Wands. Something that was very heavy. Maybe gave up waiting for a certain somebody here. Maybe this is you. And if you're a Divine Masculine, this could be your person. Take it how it resonates. It is a general reading, so if it's not yours, don't take it. I have a lot of other readings on my channel you can choose from that might be more suitable or that resonate with you more. Ooh, this looks like this is has to do with love with the King of Cups here. The Two of Cups and the Temperance. So somebody is patiently waiting for this King of Cups to arrive. I kind of feel like with this Ten of Wands, um, it's a long journey. Maybe they don't live close by. It's patiently waiting for this love. And it could be this King of Cups is waiting as well. I'm not sure. Well, what are we waiting for? Strength. Maybe the courage to come forward. Mm. Worried that maybe this Empress is going to walk away. Ah, tower. Boom, baby. Now, wow. This could be that this Empress, if you are the Empress, Taurus, you maybe were waiting for things to change, that so you put this burden down, and maybe this person was a bit of a burden here. When it came to a love union, you're very patient with this person, you're being very strong, and you had a lot of courage, you knew you had to walk away. Maybe this is why this don't let your past hold you back is here. This could be somebody from your past. And spirit is coming in to say, nah, -uh. I told you don't go back. Conclusions are within reach and your hard work is paying off. And it is an end of a tough cycle. So believe in the impossible here and let this past go. This tower is here for a reason. What is the tower, please? What is this tower? Yeah. Defeated. Uh, you might feel defeated or this person does feel defeated. Why is the tower here though? Now maybe there was some gossip. Maybe somebody came between the two of you. Yeah, they're in their head right now. Or you could be about this person. What's the two of cups? Yeah. You might have boundaries now. There might be some truth that you are looking for when it comes to this love. And I don't feel spirit really says that it really matters. Just leave it behind you and move forward. What is the Six of Swords here? 
Yeah, it was because of some shady behavior here, and that is why you walked away. Yeah, there's a King of Swords that's waiting for you. Um, it looks like it might be a counterpart here, a divine love. And this King of Cups is not the person for you. If you are the Empress, I might be talking to the Divine Feminine right now, Taurus, that you were waiting and this person wasn't stepping up. It was something that was a burden to you anyways, because maybe you instinctively knew this was going on. I don't feel like you need the truth because you already know this. You are an earth angel and karma comes heavy to those that mess with the earth angel. That is a chosen person from spirit. And this person didn't, didn't treat you well. They treated you dirty. So that is why this tower is here. They may have talked shit about you because you ended it. And they could be bound or stuck from moving forward. But you have this King of Swords here, a counterpart <laughs> in love. Oh, <laughs> and marriage and a big offer here. Wow. There might be other people that want to come in for you, but you might end up getting married to this person or moving in with this person. They have a lot of love for you here. They see you as wish fulfillment too. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's awesome, Taurus. Looks like things are going to um, maybe change for you. I see that a lot in some of the readings here. More and more people are progressing forward. And things are starting to change for them. Let's get a couple more messages. Ooh. <laughs> ah, strange Valentine. Love is strange. So this might be somebody that you're not usually um, attracted to. Let's see what else. Oh, okay. Ghost of the Pumpkin Patch. Count your blessings. So through the month of October, I feel with this pumpkin patch here, maybe uh, Halloween-ish, uh, sometime in October, there is blessings coming in for you. You might even meet this King of Swords here. And I feel like when you do, this King of Cups might try to come back to mess it up here. So it's time for change to learn something new and to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So it's possible that maybe you have a platform or you are doing something that has to do with technology. Maybe you build something. Maybe you design or invent something. Death and the Maiden, in invasion, boundaries violated and dominance. So I kind of feel like this person really did uh, treat you less than maybe was very domineering and really made you feel like you weren't enough. And definitely, I feel like they wanted to really dim your light. So you might even be a light worker. Uh, let's see, when do you meet this person, this King of Swords? When do you meet this King of Swords? In five weeks, five days, or five months. And October, November, December, January, February, March. So, I guess that's around Valentine's. So, Valentine came in here. So, maybe by Valentine's Day, I think that's in February. So... A couple, or it might be March, so, I don't know, I'd have to look. <laughs> so, yeah, within, between now from the pumpkin patch, was it October, between now and Valentine's Day, I'm going to say that you're going to meet this new person. 
Yeah. Believe in the impossible. And that will get you there. This is an ending This to this person. You're going to let them go. Don't let them hold you back. Okay? So this new person is Cancer in their chart. Or it could be in yours. Well, it must be in yours and theirs. Because it's come up twice. Unless they have... Well, no. It would have to be you and them. Maybe you have it in your chart somewhere. We have Taurus coming up. So maybe they have Taurus in their placement as well. They have Leo, or you do, and Sag. So there you go. There's some of the signs that they are. And um, yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right, later.